Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is the second episode of the one year anniversary and we will continue with the upper body of Galadriel. This project got selected by you, the community. Once more, I would like to thank Anita for the awesome new logo she made for the channel. Her social links will be in the description and the pinned comment. Without further ado, let's get to painting! We will start by painting the dress on the arms, the body and the shoulders with grey sear. We will work with all five pieces together for a while in order to have similar results. Afterwards, we will cover all five pieces with apothecary white in order to give them a nice shade. As apothecary white is a bit of a special color, do shake it extremely well before starting to apply. Returning to grey sear, we will start adding highlights on all pieces. For the arms and shoulders, I would recommend you use the belly of your brush in order to avoid painting in the recesses. We need to mix a bit of Ulthon grey to the grey sear, with the end result being a mix of roughly 1 to 1 consistency. With said mix, we will go and add the second layer to our highlights over all pieces. Subsequently, we will take pure Ulthuan grey and add details on top of the highlights we did. Once again, be careful on the shoulders not to paint in the recesses. Following up the last step, we will take our trusty dry brush and load it with Corax White. With it, we will do final highlights only on the arms and shoulders. At this moment, the shoulder pieces are done and we will focus on the arms. The skin on the arms will be based with KD and Flesh Tail. There is no need to put an undercoat as the white grey is enough. We do this in order to have a much fairer skin color. Thereafter, we shall mix Kizl of Flesh with Cadian Flesh Tone on a 1 to 1 consistency and start highlighting the skin. Do be careful not to paint over the dress. To finish the skin, we will use pure Kizl of Flesh. With it, we will add details on the most raised areas of our highlights on the skin. In order to finish the arms, we'll have to paint the ring. For a ring of such power as Nenia, Runefang Steel is the perfect color. A nice wash with Null Oil will help with bringing all details of the ring to life. Afterwards, we will go back to Runefang Steel and start highlighting the highest areas of the ring. At this point, we have to avoid the recesses at all costs. With the arms done, the last piece that now remains is the body. Since we are already using Runefang steel, we can directly go and paint the medallion on Galadriel's neck. Just like we did with the ring, we will carefully wash the medallion with known oil. Once the wash has dried fully, we will go over the medallion and add highlights of Runefang steel. Reusing our dry brush once again with Corax White, we will go over the main body lightly dry brushing. The target of said dry brush is to bring the floral patterns towards the eye. We'll finish this piece by painting the belt. We will start the final steps with a nice couple of thin layers of Ushapti Boo. Then, we will mix Dawn Yellow to the Ushamti, enough to bring the mix to a 1 to 1 consistency and start adding highlights. Finally, we will add one portion more of Dawn Yellow to the mix so it gets to 2 to 1 and add details on our highlights. The result should look like this. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and do consider hitting the subscribe button. All colors used on this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Of course, if you did not have enough, you can check this video out.